Hello and welcome back to It's My Money with Petrina Dixon. I'm so excited to share this episode with you. I had a wonderful time in Martha's Vineyard. My husband and I spent our 11th anniversary there and I couldn't wait to come back to tell you all about it. I'm gonna have to refer to notes because there was so much that we did, couldn't retain it all up here. So here we go, I'm gonna jump right in. We looked at many different places to go to for vacation. I looked at many different places, the only hotel that I could find, several Airbnbs, several uh, uh, B&Bs. The ferry was like two and a half hours away and we needed to get there by 7 a.m. So hence we had a very early morning to a place called Woods Hole. That's where we would get on the board of the ferry and bring our car on to get over to Monsters Vineyard. So we did that. And once we got on, we started our morning with coffee um, right on the ferry. And, and we ended up at the most awesome inn called Oak Bluffs Inn. Once we got in, we knew it would be in early enough. We'll go and have breakfast and then get checked in a little bit later. But when we got to Oak Bluffs Inn, again, I recommend that for everyone that wants to go to uh, Martha's Vineyard. It was just a really nice place to stay. It's a, it's a great option, let's just say that. Everything that you wanted, you can get right where we were. The host was amazing. We were there for uh, four days and three nights. The place actually serves individualized breakfast every morning. So not like a continental style. He takes your order, um, Eric takes your order at Oak Bluffs Inn and um, actually makes it for you. And then they also had um, fresh lemonade with mint and hot chocolate chip cookies. The smell in the house was always amazing. Customer service was un. Believable. We then went out to the first place for the evening at a place called Nancy's. If you're following me on any of the social platforms, you know that I posted the um, seafood broil that we got at Nancy's. Awesome. And one different thing that they had, and that was they put two slices of bread on top. I have no idea why they do this. I've never seen a seafood broil this way, but it was their style. That was day one. On the next day, we went in, we had breakfast at our inn. Um, and then we went to the beach and had a wonderful time at the beach. We were at um, in the Inkwell Beach. A lot of people have probably heard about Inkwell in um, um, movies that it's been in or whatever have you. Oak Bluffs Inn, they actually had towels and chairs for you to bring to the beach with you. We met two of the most beautiful and delightful women that both own art galleries and they were each amazing. I love their shops. And what they had to offer and i found a place the ice cream was amazing that had non-dairy and tons of flavors in the non-dairy option so um that place was called naughty cow yes the ice cream the flavors for non-dairy you will not believe every place we went in the customer service was great and i took so many photos of these little houses little cottages and they all seem to represent something for this um community one of the places we, we went to was Egertown. Egertown is probably where you would find the uh, president obama michelle obama's house i don't know i didn't see it but it will likely be in that area of town and we drove over there and we you know went to some of the shops that are over there and um, enjoyed that time. That's Manipsha, I think it's called. That's where we saw a sunset. People travel to go see this most beautiful sunset. And my husband and I got there, we got our spot, and we had a lobster roll that was amazing. One of the other things that we did um, was pay to go on the African American uh, tour, and we got to see a lot of the black history which is really, really deep in Martha's Vineyard. I'm so glad that we made time within our travels there to go on this tour. I was proud and stunned by so much that was shared with us about how um, you know Black Americans were, um, what they had within Martha's Vineyard. Some still have stuff in Martha's Vineyard and how some has been passed to different families that are still um, African-American families. It was just absolutely amazing. I got to visit a store, there's a black owned shop called C'est La Vie, which was also amazing. Biscuits, highly recommend Biscuits. Now, black owned restaurant called Biscuits in Oak Bluffs um, on the vineyard. The best fried chicken I've ever tasted. And if you know me, I love me some fried chicken. 
that chicken that made me go mm, mm, it was so good so <laughs> i literally did that when i was there and the owners um they came out they took pictures with me oh i don't know how the other breakfast items are but let me tell you that fried chicken do yourself a favor and get that fried chicken even if you have to get it for breakfast Mmm, good. We also had a really good burger and hot dog. At, I think it's called Fat Ronnie's is where we got the hamburger and hot dog. Oh, really good hamburger and hot dog. There's one place we went into where the service wasn't great. I wasn't, the food wasn't bad, but the service wasn't great. That was really important to me. I won't name that place there, but when, this is what I will say in case they were watching or listening, customer service is very, very important. And um, I tend to, um, share when service is really, really well. When it's not great, I don't want to, you know, maybe that was just that experience. I don't want to share the place. But what I will do when somebody's service is really, really great, and um, regardless of what it is that I have, I want to make sure that I share that in the most favorable light that I can. By far, you know, five, five, five plus stars, Oak Bluffs in. One of the reasons why I wanted to have an episode about this, so, you know, I'm the It's My Money Lady and also an entrepreneur. So let's talk a little bit about why, how those connect to the Martha's Vineyards trip. So when you think about going away, you think about the economics of that. You think about travel, your um, the transportation to the air, to and from the airport, um, where you're staying, um, the food you're going to eat if you don't have all-inclusive, if you want to do any excursions and all that. And usually a trip for the duration of time that we stay averages about $2,500. Martha's Vineyard is one to be on what I'll call the pricier side, but if you're going to spend that amount, I would encourage you to consider Martha's Vineyard. You may have to do a little bit more of a search to find a place that fits your specific budget. Um, there are definitely um, Airbnbs that you can find. So I would ask you to, you know, do your research on where would you like to stay. I would not encourage a hotel in this area. I would encourage you to first, especially if you want to bring your car, to get that all squared away and then look for your housing because you can um, put your car on hold before finalizing it while you look for housing. But I would plan out if you are in a B&B, um, hopefully they have a hot meal for you for breakfast. So that's one less thing you have to purchase um, and then plan out where you want to go for dinner. Um, most allow you to the use of a common refrigerator if you want to bring stuff over, especially if you're bringing a car like we bought things that we enjoy eating from a snacky and drink perspective. You can fill your car with things that you can eat for lunch and then maybe just pay for dinner while you're out and you're in Martha's Vineyard so you might as well get seafood while you're there. There's going to be a blog associated with this as well so you'll get to see all of this information and some of the pictures from the sites that we saw. So hopefully you enjoyed and so thank you. Um, for all of the people that we came in contact with that helped make our stay and our trip to Martha's Vineyard um, even more. Um, again, this is Petrina Dixon, the It's My Money Lady, trying to bring you as much as I can to help you along your money journey as well as um, your entrepreneurship journey. Um, you have to enjoy life, and in part of enjoying life is experiencing life. So thank you so much for always tuning in. Make sure if you haven't subscribed that you drop down below and hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this, let me comment. Let me know what you think. Have you ever been to Martha's Vineyard? What do you recommend um, to those others that may be watching it and reading the notes below? And don't forget to also share it. Have a great day.